Um, so, but that is, uh, yeah, so there's a log n approximation algorithm. Um, and there's an algebraic method. So the algebraic methods would encode this as an ETR problem. Um, and they would have a, a n to the O of k running time. Uh, so where k is the number of torches and n is the number of vertices, or, or guards and uh, vertices. Um, and yeah, log n is the best approximation, uh, I think, log opt. So this is the uh, best approximation factor that we have currently. Um, we know we have corresponding lower bounds for this, um, but we don't know if there are better approximation algorithms, but we know um, that you can't find better than constant factor approximation. Um, and in practice, what people do is, so that would be the theory side. So the theory side is, so there are a lot of papers on this so-called art gallery problem, which I dubbed here the, the uh, enlightening torch problem. And uh, most of the papers um, consider variants um, where the type of polygons are very restricted and the positions of the guards are very restricted. Um, so for instance, maybe the guards are only allowed to be placed on the vertices and uh, yeah. And uh, from pr a practical side, uh, people claim to have uh, sort of larger instances. And the way they would do it is in an iterative approach. They would um, have some heuristic how they choose the potential guard positions, the candidates. And then they would uh, um, try to solve it for this, uh, um, for this, uh, uh, for those candidates, like finding the best guards among those candidates. And in case that they, um, and they have also possibilities to, to find lower bounds. And then they either say, OK, we, we are matching, having upper and lower bounds matching, or they iterate and find more candidate positions. Um, yeah. Does it answer your question? So yeah, here this would be algebraic. Uh, and I think it's already for k equals 2 uh, undoable. Um, and here we would just uh, restrict ourselves to a very fine grid. And we would just randomly select points from that grid and discard points from that grid and then uh, have some iterative uh, random process of selecting points from the grid. So here are the, um, the precision would be bounded, um, but then we also lose some, some factors here. Yeah. Everyone thought it was in the news recently that Google has this first quantum computer experiment. They were very caught of it. Yes. I don't know a lot about quantum computing, but one thing seems to be that you have this qubits who can be like one, zero, more or less at the same time. And mm. yeah, certain problems. I mean, they've selected one that can uh, solve considerably quicker than normal computers, I suppose. This is uh, some NP computing problem. I looked at it. But I was wondering, like, what would uh, what would like quantum computing mean for the uh -huh. um, uh, it's not even clear to me what quantum computing would mean for uh, the class NP so there are some problems for which they can show under certain assumptions that uh, they have they can be faster uh, and I think the 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 most uh, uh, simple and prominent example is, let's say I have a list of n items. And I ask you, is Peter one of those in this list? So classically, how long would it take to figure out if Peter is in this list? Unsorted list. 
linear, right? There seems to be no way that you can do it better. But uh, with quantum computers, you can do it in O of root of n. Um, so this is, uh, so the certain problems they can solve faster because they're kind of guess. But as far as I know, um, they are not capable of solving NP hard problems faster. Yes, yes. Um, I, it's, a, it's a good question, but uh, uh, my feeling is that it's not, because already for the problems in NP, uh, I don't know an example where they have faster algorithms. But maybe Hans knows more than me? No? I see, I see. By the way, quantum computing is a very old field. Uh, it's not so young. Like 40 years old. But now they have these quantum computers, so it's actually. I yes, we should invite some quantum people, then uh, our questions will be answered. Then. And uh, there are drinks. <laughs>